to. Just uh, about to make some breakfast. We got some honeydew here. And we're just gonna chop it up back in a sec. And here we go, time to eat. Uh, yeah, so day off, obviously, because um, I'm not at work, <laughs> which is nice. But I'm uh, gonna do some cooking probably. I'm gonna make some, I was thinking about doing Cuban black beans. I don't know, I'm doing black beans of some kind because I got some that I soaked overnight over there. So thinking Cuban black beans, I'm gonna make some of those later today. But I'm also doing that damn protein video today. So I have like a lot of stuff to do in like Photoshop and in, in Vegas and stuff. So I'm gonna be busy on the computer a lot of the day today. And uh, yeah, just doing random stuff, but I'm gonna eat and I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, so we're doing some work here in Photoshop. See, this is why I don't wear these glasses when I'm shooting on the green screen, you see that? It's okay when I'm tilted like that, but look, when I watch this, the same thing, because the band is green, so if I scoot it over here, look at that. You can see right through the watch there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so we're doing some Photoshop work here. Um, working on the the protein video this is the thumbnail it's gonna be the thumbnail here I always like to throw in little uh, things like this here hashtag PBR vegan for life things that most people won't ever actually see because it's just a thumbnail but you know it's cool because it's in there uh, and then we got we got some other stuff some slides that we're doing for the video so I spend a lot of time in Photoshop and a lot of time in uh, Vegas too doing a lot of editing stuff like that but it's worth it I like the way it comes out and it gives me something to do so all right guys back in the kitchen here and I know on the last video I got a little little flack a few complaints from Sharon specifically about the no shirt thing and you know being blinded or whatever so I apologize I have the tank top on today I, you know I don't want to blind you guys so all right anyway what do we got going on we got two cups of black beans that we soaked overnight rinse those off we're gonna add into that um, <clears throat> three cups of water okay then we got about a two teaspoons of garlic chopped up garlic about two teaspoons of paprika hot smoked paprika actually this is just salt and pepper it's about a teaspoon and a half each and this is a tablespoon of cumin or cumin however the hell you want to pronounce it we got a small onion chopped up here, and we got three bay leaves. So we got everything in there now, all the ingredients are in there. Basically we're gonna put it on the bean setting and cook it for 28 minutes, then we're gonna let it naturally release, which takes around 20. So it is gonna take a little while for these things to cook, but it's definitely a lot uh, faster, sorry, than cooking it like in, you know, crock pot, slow cooker, whatever. So we'll check it out when it's done. So basically from the time that we pushed the button that it started to preheat all the way through the full natural release, you're looking at like 61 minutes basically all together. So it's about an hour um, cook time, which is still faster than doing it in a slow cooker, which is gonna be, you know, four to eight hours depending on what kind of bean you're using. Let's see what we got here. Let's open this guy up. All right. Looks good. Let's get it out of there. All right, there is the finished product there. So good consistency. It's good to put on top of like rice and stuff like that. Or if you're gonna make like um, rice and bean burritos, um, taco salads, pretty much anything these are good for. But you can add other spices and other uh, veggies in there if you wanted to. If you don't want onion, you can put um, something else in there. Uh, but that's it, guys. All right, guys. So we are recording in OBS at the moment and yeah apparently that's what you get when you record yourself in OBS is the mirror effect uh, which is kind of cool but that's not really what I'm doing here so let me 
pop that up. This is what I'm working on is the protein video still. So we finished a lot of this stuff. Right now we're just doing the slides for the video, um, all that stuff. So lots of work, but will be worth it in the end. I don't know how the font came out like that, but we're gonna roll with it. All right guys, so we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna be making the rice to go with the beans for dinner here. So uh, we just have two cups of just white rice in there. I think I'm using jasmine oddly enough, but you can use whatever, whatever you have. Um, and then we have two and a half cups of water. So two cups of rice, two and a half cups of water. Um, we are going to be putting on a little tiny bit of this hot chili oil. This is optional though, you really don't need this. I just do it to give it a little more spiciness, but you don't need much. Just like that. A lot goes a lot, or a little goes a long way, sorry. Um, then we have three quarters cup of corn that we're going to put in there. One half of a, half a cup of salsa. And you can use whatever salsa you have, you know, whether that be homemade or whatever. I'm using this salsa here but use what you have homemade is probably better but if you're using stuff out of the jar it's not terrible either um all right and that's it and we're just gonna turn it on and it cooks for about oh 15 minutes or so all right guys there's the finished rice right there and uh we'll show you what it looks like later on when uh, when we're eating dinner all right guys so we're doing a taco salad for dinner tonight with the uh, the rice and beans that we made earlier so we have our uh baked little flour tortilla shell here for the bottom and we're gonna usually just layer it with uh, you know all this stuff and uh, typically I like to put on this just ranch there put on a little bit of flaxseed on top of that for some omega-3s we got our rice beans we got some salsa on there if you want there's our rice mushrooms pickles one of the weird things I put on my salad is pickles um, and then some tomato right out of our garden out there, a fresh Roma tomato and some broccoli. So gonna be good guys. I'll show you what it looks like when it's put together. All right guys, here it is all put together. So we actually have the, the beans and rice on the very bottom and that's all the way up to about here. Then on top of that, we have all the, the lettuce and the veggies and a little bit of salsa on top there. Put a little bit of nutritional yeast and some of that flaxseed on top with the, uh, the ranch dressing. So gonna dig in, watch some daredevil guys. See you later.